Welcome to Drink, Wine, Be Crafty. I'm Megan. Today I'm doing letter L for my macrame A to Z series. And this letter is going to be super easy, guys. You're going to be doing a lot of repetitive rows. Um, most of it is mirroring one another, so we'll get through this letter pretty quickly today. As usual, you'll need two colors of rope, and we're going to attach color one with a vertical double half hitch knot. That's the only knot we use in this project. And for row one, you are going to do 10 vertical double half hitch knots. Rows 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 all mirror one another. So we're going to do, for row 2, we're going to we're gonna do uh, 6 of color 1, 3 of color 2, and 1 of color 1. And then for row 3, we're going to do 1 of color 1, 3 of color 2, and 6 of color 1. And that pattern, rows two and three that will be the same pattern for four and five six and seven and eight and nine and they should all look the exact same whenever you you're finished so i'm going to finish color one and then once you finish with color one you will just drop that color add color two um, you are going in the opposite direction so you'll want your tail facing the opposite direction as the first uh, piece of rope that you added and then you will just pick back up color one to finish that last knot on the end. So right here we're going to drop this color and we're going to grab our second color. And then once you finish with rows two through nine, we will come back and we will add on something different to this pattern. <laughs> And now for rows 10 and 11, they are actually the exact same. So we're going to do one of color one, eight of color two, and one of color one for rows 10 and 11. We have already made it to our last row, row 12. We are going to do 10 of color one for this row to finish the letter L. Our next letter will be the letter M. And once we finish that one, we will be halfway through guys. So I am definitely have sped this process up. I hope you have enjoyed it. And I have actually seen some creations with this already that you guys have done, and I love it. It makes me so happy to see people using my tutorials and seeing your work. So definitely share with me on Instagram or Facebook if you do make something and you would like to share. I would love to see it. And that's going to be it for today. I will see you next time, guys. Bye.